What is the B2G strategy and how can you use it to grow your property consultancy? That's what we're talking about in this video. So what is it? Well, it's working for government organisations. Now, one of the biggest myths about working for government from small business is that it's corrupt and the firms that win the contracts are the ones who are the best friends with the client staff. And while that used to be the case in the 70s and 80s, it all changed in the 90s when they introduced transparency into the procurement process. An interesting fact I learned a few years ago, about five years ago, there was a think tank survey which reported out of all the small businesses surveyed, only 3% had ever bid on a public sector contract. And this wasn't really any shock when I read this because I, I've bid on and overseen the bid process for close to a billion pounds in public, in public contracts across all different industries and all over the UK. And normally it's the same three or four companies you're competing against on, on each tender. And I know that because every time you submit a tender, after it's been awarded, they'll send out a list of the companies that tendered for that contract. So you can see if you bid on a, a lot of contracts that it will be the same handful of companies bidding. The size and scope of these contracts also varies a lot. The largest I've been involved with was worth 200 million, but the smallest contracts start from about 10,000. Anything smaller than that is normally dealt with uh, directly by the operator of the building, such as if it's a school, the, the headmaster will have a small budget for, for buying smaller items or services that, that are low value like that. The public sector spend around $242 billion on contracts every year in the UK. And the, the government set a target that at least one third of those contracts should go to small and medium sized businesses. We've used this strategy to grow our own businesses massively, but let me ask you a question. Take your average size contract and multiply it by five. How much of an impact would that have on your business if you could win just three or four of these contracts every year? So let's take a look at how a property consultant could use this strategy to grow your business. <coughs> so at the moment, you as a business, provide a service. It doesn't matter whether that service is to provide cleaning services, provide temporary staff, or provide entertainment and events. The public sector is no different to any other client. The only difference is their contracts are much bigger than most clients because they, they have a much larger demand. So the first thing to do is package up what you already do and think about how the, the various public sector organizations would make use of that service. And every business is going to be slightly different. But the good thing about the public sector, each organization advertises all of their contracts. Now, some you have to pay a subscription fee to, to various companies to see all the contracts, but others, they're advertised on public websites. You can see in this screenshot that, that I took from one organization, there's currently almost 9,000 contracts being tendered. And these will be advertised for about six weeks, and then they'll be replaced by new ones. So probably the easiest way to get started with this strategy is to make a list of every public sector organization in your area or the area that you're willing to travel to or work in. And that could be anything from the local council to the more nationwide organizations like the Job Center. And if you go into their, their local website, look for the section that tells you about contracts. On there, you'll see a list of contracts that's being tendered either now or in the near future, or they'll tell you where they advertise them. From there, it's just a case of filling in the paperwork and going through the tender process. Now, there's some advanced strategies that you can, you can use to, to win these contracts that we've used to, to win an average 89% of the, ton, of the tenders that we submitted. But essentially, that's how you use a B2G strategy to grow your property consultancy.